Oh boy, the Phoenix Suns. Man, that was embarrassing last night. It reminded me of what Luka did to them last year. That one was worse, but especially because they were the one seed, and even by deficit, it was worse. But yeah, to be down 30 to the Nuggets at half in a what's been a fairly competitive series, and it and that game was over really quick. When KCP is giving you, I think he had like he probably had like 17 or 18 like in the first half. At that point, with the Nuggets playing like that, it was. Yeah, like I said, it was a wrap very early on. I'm not going to be like a lot of people who I'm sure will clown the Suns or call people to be fired and all of that. I think we have to kind of put this in reality with the Suns. This wasn't really their year two. I mean, I guess like they always had a chance. We have Booker and KD always have a chance, but I think their window was more next year because they traded all those guys for KD. Um, and they they need another year to kind of fill out the rest of their team. And you've seen it. Like, they needed their Mikel Bridges. They needed their Jay Crowders. They needed all those guys they traded away, their Cam Johnson. They needed those guys. They needed depth for this team that they just didn't have, and it showed all series. With that being said, though, and I did say I'm going to give them a pass. I don't want to clown too much here. I thought they quit. There was a lot of silly turnovers and missed defensive assignments and all that stuff that will cost you a game, make you lose by almost 30. And another thing I will say, I'm going to talk about Kevin Durant here because this is now the second year in a row that he's been turned into an inefficient player in the playoffs in the series that he's lost. So I wonder, is there going to be a ne- There already is a narrative going around that he can't win without the Warriors. But is there going to also be a narrative that he's been figured out that he struggles in the playoffs now. Was that going to start the store or is it just going to be that he's Kevin Durant and always will be? Because he started one for 10 last night. And we look at the Suns too. They didn't have DeAndre Ayton. They didn't have Chris Paul. So looking at that, it also gives them a little bit more of an excuse, but also they played bad. I'm like kind of going back and forth here, but that's kind of how I feel about the Suns. Like they quit. They look terrible. The Nuggets dominated them, but at the same time, it's kind of understandable given the circumstances, but also kind of not understandable because they have Booker and KD. So you can see how I'm all over the place. So moving on, because the Suns season is now over, moving on to their offseason now, what should the Suns do? I'm a big fan of Monty Williams. I really would not want to see him get fired, and I think he's one of the best coaches in basketball. It might be one of those cases where they just need a new voice in that locker room, and I don't know. Like, even though Monty Williams, he got him there, he built that culture, but when you look at how things went with DeAndre Ayton, if they have if they have plans to keep DeAndre Ayton in the future, that might be something they look into. But it, I just find, I mean, yes, there's Nick Nurse, there's Bootenholzer, who definitely shouldn't have got fired, by the way. I didn't get a chance to make a video when that happened. But um, so they could bring a coach like that in there. But, I mean, you look at what Monty Williams has done to turn around what was a dysfunctional franchise when he got there and turn them into, they went 8-0 in the bubble and always made the playoffs his first year and then turn them into the contender that they are now. It would, it would be a shame. I wouldn't want to see that happen. I don't think the Suns should do that. But I think also just for the new voice reason, I would understand it. And then moving on, I also do think it might be time for them to move on from Chris Paul. They was Their pace was a lot better when Campaign was in there and Campaign played well. And they would need to bring another point guard for sure. But um, I, I think it's about that time. They talked about trading Chris Paul for Kyrie earlier. There was rumors about that at the deadline. It might be time for them to move on from Chris Paul. But yeah, I don't think it's um, panic mode yet for the Suns. I think they just have to kind of build this team up and get those pieces that they clearly were missing in this Nuggets series. And I think that was kind of the plan all along. It would have been great if they won the title. But ultimately, realistically, they would have needed another year to kind of build around Booker and KD. But yeah, a horrible ending for the Suns for the second year in a row is going to leave another bitter taste in their mouths. But I don't think the Suns are in as bad of a spot as people are going to make it out to be these next couple days.